What is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and today we are back in spin tires with a Camaro ZL1. Now, this is obviously not something you would normally see in spin tires, but, well, I take that back. It's not exactly a ZL1. It doesn't have the ZL1 badging on the grill or the side, but it does have it on the cowl, so, I mean, it is kind of a ZL1, and it kind of isn't really what it is, is it's a Camaro body with a performance file just kind of slapped onto it, so it's not really representative of any kind of realistic Camaro performance, um, but you do have one option, and for customization, that's it. You can switch the wheels uh, to the stock ZL1 wheels, uh, or you can switch it back to these. I actually, I'm going to stick with these because I think they look kind of cool, uh, just kind of for what they are, but we're going to see how something that was never meant to be in spin tires, or even something the likes of which was never meant to be in spin tires, we're going to see how it actually works. Now, uh, right off the bat, I've got the differential locked, and, um, it's, I mean, it's, you can tell it's not in its comfort zone. It gets mud all over it immediately, and it only has one damage point. As you can see right there, when you look at damage, zero out of one. And what I've found out about this thing is that it's really hard to damage it, but if you do damage it, you're done. It's dead. So, I haven't actually, I tested it out for maybe, I don't know, two minutes before I started recording this, and the thing about it was, I slammed it into, like, mud banks and stuff like that and the weird thing about it was it didn't get damaged so I don't know what kind of the threshold for damage is on this thing but I'm assuming that due to that it's actually pretty high and considering what it is it's not bad in the mud either it actually kind of to pretty much tore its way through the mud up here uh, ahead of me at this little stretch this is the same stretch I took it down when I was testing it before recording and the funny thing about it was there, there was no, um, it, there was no hesitation. It kind of drove like a, like a UAZ might have. And the weird thing about it is that even though it's got, like, the only option is, di is diff lock, I'm thinking it's got all-wheel drive on all the time, which, again, is why this is nowhere close to being representative of an actual Camaro, but it is kind of nice to have that body. Um, just the body style, and just to kind of also be able to say that you've modded a Camaro into spin tires. It's actually kind of cool. But, and as you can see, just slam it right into the mud, and it actually, it is pulling from the front end. The front wheels are turning, so it is all-wheel drive all the time. Then all you can do really is just toggle the diff lock on and off, which helps quite a bit. But, I mean, it's pulling itself through the mud impressively well. Once it gets off to the other side, I mean, it's like you're good to go. The, the wheels and tires are absolutely covered and coated in mud. And the interior cam doesn't really work. It does that. So... Yeah, I mean, unless you want to look at the steering wheel, like, directly down at the steering wheel in the shifter, then I don't really recommend using it, because it's not really going to help you in any real way, shape, or form. But as far as off-road exploration vehicles go, this is definitely on the more odd side of things, for sure. It's not something you're going to see on the trails out at Moab or anything like that. It's not something that you're going to see at an off-road park. It's not something... You this is something you're going to see out on the highway, out on drag strips. I mean, if it's a ZL1 or a 1LE handling package, then you're going to see it on back roads. But you're not going to see it in this environment. Absolutely not. But it is cool to know that we have a game like Spin Tires where we can do such things. And the thing is, again, the water also doesn't really even damage it at all. I mean, right there, dangerous water level, but only a tiny little bit. It's not even giving me a red dangerous water level warning. It's just giving me a white wa dangerous water level warning, which means it's, there's very low probability of actually sinking the car. Now, I mean, we don't even have to winch. We d I was expecting to have to winch to those trees. We don't even have to winch. It's just pulling itself through. Uh, it just grabs traction and really just digs a massive trench and goes. It's like a freaking bulldozer. It really is. It just, just bulldozes this massive trench through the mud. And then eventually, once you get to the edge of the mud, which I, I think we may get to in a couple of years, <laughs> once it does get there, provided it's not blocked by a rock... Well, it's still a slow go, but honestly, I think we might back up just a bit and see if we can come at it from a different angle. Just to slightly avoid the rocks. Ooh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> ah, yeah, I think we're a little bit out of luck on that one. But we do have winch points, which means we can do this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, no problem at all. And while a Camaro is not generally regarded as a light vehicle, it is lightweight compared to the normal stuff you drive in spin tires, like the 8x8s and the 6x6s. This is pretty lightweight compared to those. So the, as you can imagine, the winch works surprisingly well with this car. 
Oh, come on. It's really trying hard to dig its way out. <laughs> I mean, you know what? I'm going to actually put it into low and see if that makes any difference. Nah, I mean, well, it's... thing is, it's making, like, it's making progress in really tiny uh, increments. Really tiny. And it's like one of those things where it'll eventually pull itself out, but you don't necessarily want to wait for it. I mean, it's almost there. We just have a little bit more of this, like, swampland to cover, and then we'll be back on actual ground. Solid ground, anyway. Well, maybe not solid for a little while, because it's really muddy around here, but... There we go. I feel like this is an extremely redneck edition of, of spin tires right here. Oh, come on. We are so close. Camaro Swamp Edition right here. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna give in and use the winch. Really, for no reason other than why not. Because once you're back on land, it's like, okay, we're good. Full power. Oh, there's a road out there? Sweet. I'm tired of messing around in the swamp with this thing. Much rather have an actual road surface. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, my God. Now it's gotten itself stuck because the automatic transmission uh, decided to be a little bit funky. Like, like a lot of these transmissions do in spin tires. They're not, they're not great transmissions, except for the spun in darkness transmissions. Those are incredible. But these, yeah, I'll stick with other transmissions. Thank you very much. They can clear these sticks if sticks don't entirely impede this thing's progress which I think they may have yeah it's just spinning it's just entirely spinning I feel like I'm gonna have to cut this test short because there's not much you can do with this thing it's not a very like it's not very focused to its actual environment but um, I mean it is a bit of a laugh but at the same time I can definitely think of other vehicles that I'd rather use in spin tires but I mean if it was like if it was a different game where you had like say I don't know tarmac then it would be a lot more fun to use but if you guys enjoyed this video I know it was a little short but the next one will be a much longer then don't forget to leave me a like tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe for more and I will see you guys in the next one talk to you guys later